Hello world. In this video, I'll be exploring three different Python YouTubers codes for tic-tac-toe. Their code links uh, will be in the description for their GitHub or their website of where I found the codes. So we'll start off by looking at one code that uses a um, random choice for the computer, then another code where the um, coder, where the programmer manually entered the logic, um, manually programmed the logic for the computer, and then lastly we'll look at um, one YouTuber that used the min-max algorithm which is the most common to do a tic-tac-toe AI and I'll explain that more. So this isn't really a coding video, this is more of just a discussion, but um, like I said, I'll put the links in the description for each of these codes. So welcome to the 173rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comic. This is the first video in my game theory playlist where I'll be looking at the codes where they use different algorithms to figure out games and game theory and all of that. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in watching me build my own digital assistant or if you're interested in just game theory or Python programming in general. So first let's check out this Python code by Code Coach. Um, just a, uh, I scoured the YouTube for many Python codes and I found this one and it uses a random choice so it's really easy to beat the um, AI. So we're going to run this um, and, and you'll see down here these, these are console games. There's no GUI like with a tkinter. Um, and so it's asking us to select a spot. So this used uh, actual numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll start with uh, number one. And so I put an X in the number one spot and then the computer chose the number eight spot. So I'm going to choose this spot right here, seven. Okay, and now it did block me there. So let's try uh, nine. Okay, so as you can see, I have a two X's here. So the right move would have been the center one but it did not chose that, uh, choose that, it chose up here because it's just random. So now if we select number five, the winner is X, which is me. So let's go to where the uh, code is actually implemented down here in lines 104. So this is the computer, right? This is the function. So, um, and you can see that when it chooses a selection, it uses the math um, or I'm sorry, the um, random, so import random. And all it does is it picks a random, random integer between zero and eight. Okay, so this as random, so random is as close as it can get, but if you, um, especially with only eight integers, there will be some less than random results as you go to 100 times, 150 times. So, so that's the first kind of game theory where you just pick a random integer and uh, so this is by index. So 0 through 8 is actually 1 through 9. So that's one way of doing it, right? A random integer. Next, we'll look at one of my favorite Python YouTubers and his name is Tech with Tim. And this is from his website and now just full disclosure, I had to change the code I don't know if some time has elapsed or it was just copy and pasted wrong, but I did make some changes. So um, I recommend going to his website and figuring out the changes yourself or just leave a comment if you want to know what I did to change it. Again, I'll leave these um, these links in the description. So, so let's try this tech with Tim one. Now he manually programmed the, the right moves for the computer moves. So here's some prompt now. Welcome to Tic-Tac-Toe. Do you want to play again? Yes. Now you can make some code to suggest if it's your first time, don't ask again. Um, so here we go. Same thing. One through nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I will start with the number one position. And now it goes down here, which is a good position. So I will try um, 
five. Okay, now it picked here. Now I have to go here. So let's go eight. All right, he tried to block me, right? That's the correct move. I'm blocked in several ways. And this will most likely be a uh, tie. So let's go uh, four. There you go. He blocked me there. I say he, it blocked me there. And three. So it's a tie game. So that's the correct way to um, play. And so let's go to lines 53 through 86. Um, here we go. So we have the computer move right here. So def comp move. And we're going to enumerate through all the um, board pieces. And then it's going to look at all the possible moves, right? That is possible. And then you're going to see are the corners open? So if they are, one, which is the upper left, three, upper right, seven, lower, nine. So Python goes down, right? It reads each line by line. So what he does first is if the corners are open, right? The corners are the power move. You start there. All right. Then the middle, right? So if the corners, then you're going to go for the middle, right? That's correct. And then you look for the edges, right? And then you return the move. So that is correctly um, how to play tic-tac if you're... Um, learning how to play tic-tac-toe competitively. You, you want to look for the corners, right? Those are the power spots. Then you want to go for the middle, control the middle. And then lastly, you do the edges to win. All right, so that's one way. And the most common way is to um, use the min-max algorithm, right? Because this is considered... Um, this is considered beatable or programmable by um, computer people. And so this person right here, um, Y cubed, or Kylie Ying. And so she uses um, two different files, one just for the typical game, and then you import the player. She also used um, object-oriented program. So this is like a legit code that can be used um, in an application. And so um, this uses the min-max algorithm. And another thing it does is it goes first. The computer goes first. So I'll show you what I mean. We're going to run this game. Um, and so right now X has made a move to 7. So this is giving you instructions. So this person used 0 through 8, which is how lists work, right? 0 index instead of 1 through 9. So um, X went first. But this time it used the middle pieces, right? Which is also considered a power move. So let's go uh, with six. Okay, now it's gone up here. So let's go to um, number two. See, now it blocked me there, which is the correct move. And now it has one, no matter what I put. So eight. And there you go, X wins. So we can try again. Now the computer goes first, which gives you like a 90% chance of winning. But um, let's try to just box it out by going. Um, okay, now it chose here, which is the right move. Six, I blocked it. But now it has won by putting me in a jam there. X wins again. So how is it doing this? It is using an algorithm called min-max, which is the um, right algorithm to use for tic-tac-toes. Tic-tac-toe. So now we're going in the player file where the computer code is. And so this smart computer player right here, first is going to get the move, and then it's going to do a function called minimax. All right, and so this is its own. You can just import this from math right here and import random, and you will have access to the minimax, um, minimax algorithm. And so what it's doing is it's collecting all the possible moves, and then it's going to do the minimax, which is what we're doing here. Um, and that's what it uses to to get the best, um, what's it called, 
best. So this is what it uses to get the best move. So what it's going to do is it's going to get the um, maximize score and the minimize score and then pick the best one. So what does that mean? So minimax, so tic-tac-toe is only has 255,000 possible games that can be played. So a computer can calculate this within milliseconds and like this says it's a solved game and can be predicted in any state. So conversely with chess there are 69 trillion moves and so what it's doing is it's um, figuring out the maximum moves each turn that can be played and if it's a good move where it benefits the computer it'll assign it a plus one if it's a tie move it'll assign it a zero and if it's a negative one right so um, it'll assign you know that it's a losing move it'll assign it a negative one so first it tries to maximize the move then it tries to figure out the minimized move and then it tries to maximize and then minimize and in each one, right? So when X is turned to play, it's maximizing, right? You're maximizing it. And then when O's turn, right, the other player, it's minimizing the risk. And it keeps doing that all the way down until it considers it one. And that's all that minimax um, is, is finding the minimum and maximum for each layer. And I believe there's a layer. Here we go. So for each layer, it's trying to figure out the best move. Um, sorry, that is more advanced. Here you go. So it's minimizing each um, each layer until it gets to all the terminal states at the end. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the game theory interests you. We'll be exploring more Python YouTubers codes and see if we can't explore the field of game theory. So please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video and leave a comment on what kind of game you have seen programmed before and we could see if we can find some algorithms behind it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.